hello and welcome to the first taste test in 2022. I know last week we showed a taste test on the first day, but we didn't actually record that in 2022. But today we are and we're sitting in a different location. Um, Tim went through the trouble of removing the couch behind us and everything. So I hope you appreciate this new scenery, which is just basically our dining room and living room area. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're super excited to try a bunch of new foods today and these pears are called my name. So without further ado, let's get started in the first taste test of 2022. Hey Sunny, you want one of these new burger treats? What about you Luna? Let's get these treats out and see what they look like. Here's what the cute little burger treats look like. And the dogs, if I can show you, are just waiting so patiently. Sunny. <laughs> All right, Sunny, go ahead. Luna, go ahead. No, 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 that's for Luna. Here, Luna Boone. What do you girls think? Luna, is it good? I would say this is a success. What do you say, Sunny? Is that good, girl? Yummy. Luna, you like it? Alrighty, so we have a plethora of exciting new items to try. And I think we're going to start with the warm food first. Okay. And I feel like the oatmeal All right. looks like it needs to get tried first. Okay, so let's do the oatmeal. This is the co uh, cocoa and sea salt instant oatmeal. And it looks really good. It was easy to make. It took me a minute and a half in the microwave. So let's dig in. It smells chocolatey. I, feel, I have a feeling I don't need like, a little bottle. It's chocolatey, Vincent. Uh, I definitely agree that it's chocolatey. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a pretty good flavor, honestly. Like, I think this is one of the better instant oatmeals. <laughs> Maybe not for Vincent, mm -hmm. but um, I I think I like it. I do, too. I feel like it reminds me of the, the um, chocolate rice crispy treats or like, oh you know yeah, like yeah. it reminds me a lot of the cocoa crispies i think yeah that's there you go yeah um the texture is oatmeal-y so it's kind of like that i don't know slimy and it's a little on the soft side you know soft but that's yeah. fine like that's what oatmeal is um i'm definitely a texture eater i think obviously tim is too so things that are like too mushy and don't have enough texture like i definitely would add berries or something to this but all said and done, flavor, delicious. I don't taste too much of the sea salt, but I think it's mm -hmm. more of a background character in this one that kind of just helps accentuate the chocolatey flavor. So yeah. I really liked it. I thought it was a great um, addition to what Trader Joe's is already offering for instant oatmeal. And everybody wants to kick off the new year with healthy habits, so maybe this is a good start with um, some chocolate oatmeal. <laughs> And you, you, yeah, the same way? yeah, I think the salt is probably there, but it's just there to bring out the flavor of the chocolate. Uh, I didn't taste it either. We're gonna move on now to Tim is gonna be trying actually the new, what are those? The pork, these are the Kahlua pork spring rolls. Thank you. Um, obviously, I'm the only one here that eats meat, so I'll be the only one trying this, but I'm excited for it. So instead of making just the one, I made two. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes. He air fried them too, according to the instructions. So, so they're crispy, yeah. They look filled too. Flaky. Flaky? Mm hmm. Well, while Tim's chewing, I'll say um, I get this question often, but Benson's vegetarian by choice. Um, he's allowed to eat meat if he wants to, but uh, he just chooses not to yet, right? Is that what you say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, these are really good. They have this like almost like barbecue, like teriyaki barbecue flavor to the pork. Mm. Um, I'm not sure. It's just very smoky though, for sure. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what Kahlua is. It's obviously not the, the chocolate alcohol type of thing or whatever, but um, <laughs> it tastes it tastes good and I'm a fan. So I'm glad I made two of these for myself. Nice. Well, that's good. And they're so easy to make too, which I like because you can just throw them in the air fryer and have like lunch exactly. ready to go. So that's great. Um, okay, we're gonna move on to the cheese now. So there's two cheeses we're trying. One of them is the um, pizza cheese that we literally just nuked in the microwave for 30 seconds and it kind of like melted like a little snowman. Um, but it's nice and warm and we're gonna take a bite into it. That's your cheese, Vincent. I know. Oh my gosh. It tastes like, like pizza. It does. <laughs> oh, I'm so a fan. So got that chewy, um, squeaky, squeaky cheese yeah. feeling. 
It has like actual spices and herbs in there that mm. have like the pizza flavor. I'm a fan. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh, good. It does taste like real pizza. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's really good. Uh, I mean, I might have to go back after this and make some more of that because that is good. Like it really it actually is. really is good. And do you think it needs sauce? Because I thought it would need yeah. sauce, but actually it has so much flavor that it doesn't taste like just like you're eating cheese, you know? It tastes I, like you're biting into a slice of pizza. Exactly. I don't think it needs it, but um, I think I just forgot to bring it out because I was planning on having it with the dip oh, dipping were? it in there, but who needs it? It was so good all on its own. Mm -hmm. And Benson, you liked it? Yeah. Good. Yeah, that's a fun one. That's like a really, really interesting product in my opinion. I think it's very, it's unique. There's not really much, I've never seen anything like it. Until I, that, yeah. like the garlic bread cheese that we got, but I think, think the pizza cheese is better. I I like them both, but yeah, I agree I with too. you. This one is is a little bit better. It's, yeah, it has a lot of flavor. That's what I like about it. Yeah. it's not just like you're biting into a chunk of cheese. So I feel like you could entertain really well with it, like surprise your friends, be like, "Hey, I'm gonna cook some cheese for you guys," and they're like, "What are you talking?" about? <laughs> I know all our friends would be like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> Um, yeah, so really good. We're moving on now to the Italian Ligori cheese, and I'm really excited to try this. It's a softer cheese, and smells like cheese. <laughs> it was a good cheese. I thought it was a good yeah. quality. It tasted uh, mild, and I don't know. I, I don't even know what I would use that with. What do you think? Um, I think it tastes like one of a traditional soft cheese, and... Um, I think it's okay. I think it's good, but it's probably not my favorite. I don't know what to use it for. Okay. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people will really enjoy that cheese because it, it did taste like a good quality. All right. Well, I agree. I think it's good. It's soft and it has a good flavor, but not overpowering. So two thumbs up. Um, all right. We're moving on to what I'm so excited for. The pears. These are the Korean pears. Mm. Benson likes it. It's like yeah. an apple, huh? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're mm -hmm. good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. just, just like an apple to me. It does, they, actually. They have a really good crispy crunch, but they're juicy and mm, yeah. really good flavor. This year, I agree. The Definitely does not disappoint. The juicy is what um, is different about the Yeah, they're very, ju very yeah. juicy, very crisp, good flavor. Refreshing, um, like... Love these. Yeah, these I are do so too. good. Oh my gosh. I want to just sit here and eat. That pear was huge too, so we could all share it and be completely satisfied because it was so big. <laughs> I have to go around. Two thumbs up. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we're moving on to the sweets portion of the video. You can tell that someone here is very excited. What are we trying, Benson? What are these called? Me or him? <laughs> uh, mine. Good yeah. job, Madeline. We're trying them, um, the originals, for the first time. Mmm. Those are good. Mm-hmm. I'm the most painful. Yeah. It tastes almost like lemony. It's like almost a shortbread kind of cake. That's exactly what it tastes like, shortbread. Um, really good flavor. They're not too dry. And they taste great. Yeah. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Why did I have to discover these? I mean, I should have just let it be. Mm. I'm not mad about it. Me either. Those are good. Um, I think I still like the pumpkin ones better because it has like more, uh, like of a different flavor. But these are amazing. These are so delicious, and I definitely could see myself sitting down, enjoying a cup of coffee, and eating a Madeleine alongside it. And I'll probably do that tomorrow morning with this kid right here, because he loves hopping in the morning with me. <laughs> but delicious, so uh, shoot, another thing in the rotation. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, we're moving on to the okie dokie. Okay, Dad. <laughs> um, so we got the okie dokie oat non-dairy frozen dessert, uh, frozen yogurt, or frozen ice cream, uh, made from oat milk. I'm excited for this. Um, you Ooh. can see the swirls that are going on in that thing. I'm not <laughs> sure if it's too bright or not, but uh, you want to dig in? Go ahead, honey, and get the first one. All right. Actually, I'll let Benson try it and see what he thinks. Benson likes ice cream that's like non-dairy because it's not as cold. I want to get a toffee bit. Ooh, that's a big chunk of toffee. There's like toffee bits in here. Oh, yeah? Now. It looks delicious. Ooh. 
Coffee bits are crunchy. Is that a crunch? Did mm -hmm. I hear a crunch? Oh, all right. Oh, wow. That's a lot of caramel in there. Very rich, very creamy. Very reminiscent of a real ice cream. Yeah. I mean, of a dairy ice yeah. cream. I mean, it is real ice cream, which is not dairy. So, uh, yeah, that's... I'm trying to fully understand the, pe the people that have said they don't like it because it has like a synthetic taste. I personally, I don't taste it. I mean, I, a it's little. It's the milk. I think they just aren't Maybe, but milk. like I, I can, what I think it is is the caramel is extremely sweet. Very, very sweet. So much so yeah. that like it almost takes away from the flavor of the oat milk. So I'm saying kind of the opposite of what you're saying because I don't think mm. it's the oat milk flavor that I'm tasting. It tastes, I do, I still taste the sweetness from that caramel. It's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot of sugar in that caramel. Um, and it does not taste like traditional caramel where you almost get that like smokiness or whatever, you know, real caramel and like, you can taste it. This one tastes more like a sugar swirl. I wish they would have said something like that and it tastes more like a vanilla ice cream with like a yeah. sugar swirl in it. But those crunchy bits are so yeah. good. Did you get I a, got crunchy a crunchy bit? bit yeah. Mm. Um, it's like kind of this like airy fluffy crunchy bit to it. Um, yeah. But really good. I think that... I was actually going into this excited, but kind of hesitant as well to mm -hmm. think, oh, maybe I'm going to be let down, but I wasn't. So That's good. pleasantly surprised with how good it was. Yeah, I think it's good. It's just, it, I, I mean, two bites and I'm done. Like I am done. That is <laughs> so dang sweet. So my final takeaway about this ice cream is I think it's excellent for a non-dairy ice cream. It's really good. For me personally, it's extremely sweet. So a little goes a long way and that might be a good thing because then I can control myself and just take a tiny little portion and enjoy it for longer. So not only is it saving me money, it's saving me on calories too. But um, I do think it's a good quality ice cream. The uh, oat part of it is amazing and it tastes a lot like vanilla cake to me. So yeah, that's that's my final takeaway. We literally yeah. had every single thing that we had today was good. Was there know. anything we didn't like? No, not a single thing. Nothing, I mean everything- Starting the start, year off right. Right, that's, that's <laughs> very true. I'm, Benson, what was your favorite thing? The Madeline. The Madeline? Why'd you uh, like it? Was it sweet? Yeah. It tastes like cake? Yeah. Do you like cake? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is it for this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you like the new scenery. We might not keep it like this because it was a lot of work to get to where we are right now. But um, anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I will see you guys next week in the next one and the next one after that 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 and all thumbs up in every video. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and we're out. See you in the next video. Bye. 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 <laughs>